Let's take a look at using the Onshape mobile app for creating a new assembly. I am in a document. Here is a part studio with a part that I want to use in that assembly. Let me go to the tab manager down at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. There is a plus sign. Let's click on that. And we have a bunch of choices from the pop-up menu. Let's choose create assembly. My assembly is started. Let's put in that component. I will click on the icon up at the top of the screen for inserting a component from this part studio. Let me look for it. That was the engine block rear and it is inserted. You can sort of see it in the background. I will hit the check mark in order to place it. So that's good for the first one. Let's put in some more. I will insert again and let's go to, let's see, I want the front of the engine block. So I will select that inserted one. Let's also go to the cylinder. And so two inserted at the same time, I will hit the check mark. Now these parts were designed so that they would be in the right location. So I can take advantage of fixing and grouping. I will click on the slider on the left hand side of the screen in order to see my instances list. Let's go to the first component. There are three dots. I will click on the three dots to open up the menu. Let's choose fix for the first component. I'm going to collapse the left side panel panel and then to the right of the insert icon at the top of the screen is a set of commands and also the ability to search for commands and I want to group the remaining components. Let's click on the group command and so I will start picking the different components that I want to group. I picked the rear of the engine block and the front of the engine block and the cylinder that I inserted. Down at the bottom it is telling me that three entities have been selected. Let's hit the check mark and now if I take a look at my instances list, you can see all the different components in there. Let's collapse that. So that's how you can create a new assembly, insert components, fix a component, and then group them together.